I first started cycling about the age of 16, so not really young. I mean, my dad's always cycled, so it was always in my family, and he always tried to get me to come out, but I wasn't that interested. And actually, I was really rubbish, so I didn't enjoy it. I used to just go, get to a climb and cry and get off and have a tantrum and fall out with him. So I kind of never got, went any further than that. Um, then I got injured as a hockey player, a field hockey player, and they said, I'll oh, go and ride your bike when you can't run. And it's like low impact. And then actually I thought, well, I prefer this. And I went to a local club and they were supportive. And so then I quit the hockey and took up the cycling and kind of started racing, obviously, at a junior and youth level quite early. And, and then it sort of went from there. Before the start of the 2017 season, Molly was left with severe injuries after colliding with a car. I don't remember anything from the crash, actually. Um, I remember a little bit of the day in the morning, sort of patchy bit. Uh, and then actually probably the next week is a bit fuzzy. I kind of remember bits of it and not other parts. So actually I don't have much memory of any of it. It turned out I'd broken my sternum, five vertebrae, my neck, my collarbone, four ribs, punctured my lung and had a bleed on some organ. I think kidney, it could have been liver, I think kidney. So yeah, when I sort of woke up and they were sort of a bit fuzzy and then they tell you, oh, and you've broken your back and neck. And you're like, okay. <laughs> so that was a bit of a shock, that one. <laughs> There's still a bad relationship between drivers and cyclists. There's a lot of anger there. And they, you know, obviously sometimes it is the rider's fault. It's not always a car driver's fault that there are these accidents. But I think, you know, with mine it was, and with a lot of them it is the, the driver's fault. And I think it's just, they don't see you as, as a human being, they see you as a nuisance, a sort of thing in the way it's holding them up for however long. They don't think of you as a life, someone's child, someone's parent, you know, a person. I think it's trying to break down that barrier and just making a better relationship at the ground level. And then, then you hope it sort of builds up to, to then as a driver, they see you as a life and something. It's not, you know, it's not worth it taking the risk of injuring that person. Since the accident, it's been, I'd say, well, steady progress and then been a bit up and down. Um, but I'm in a good place now, not where I would like to be, but I think all things considered, taking to a start line was kind of the only real goal that I had this year and I managed that, so I'm happy. I'm happy with where I am. So about racing is, it is amazing. It is, I think it's sort of, it is mixed. I, I won't pretend it's all this great sort of picture of it's all perfect and brilliant. I think for me, it's, it's been tough um, mentally now more than probably physically. I think you are where you are once you get to this point and I've worked as hard as I can, but obviously I think if I'd been able to get back to the same level, it'd almost be an insult to all the other riders that you can actually have this, you know, almost die. And then, you know, within like a month, be back to where you would have been. And so I think now it's, it's a mental battle to sort of reassess your goals and, and embrace what, what you can do. My goals now are just to be able to do my job. I think I was always in this team, especially this year with the caliber of riders. I was always a domestique. That was always my role. And we obviously had different aspirations at the very start. And we sort of planned out the season and especially pre-season when you kind of know where you are. Um, but now it's just to do the best, the best I can. I get, obviously my job's changed a little bit. It's probably lesser than it would have been, but you still, all you want at the end of every race is to have done the max you can do and contributed to what you could. And if, if your teammate wins, you want to have been a part of that. That's a good feeling for you, but also, yeah, obviously you want your teammate to win as well.